Hey guys, so it's been a really long time, but I wanted to do an update video because it's been so long and I kind of wanted to start doing videos again, but after you haven't done one for so long, it's kind of weird to get back in the groove of things and really know what to say or, or update about, but I was watching some other videos um, and I thought how sad I would be if those people didn't make videos anymore. Um, and just kind of disappeared, and I tried not to do that. Um, I'm going to turn my phone. It's harder than that way. Um, I tried not to do that by staying on Facebook, um, but I just didn't make videos because um, I just didn't know what to say. I was going through like some things, obviously, most of you know about that. Um, but things are a lot better, and they continue to get better. Um, I don't even know where to start. Uh, first of all, I was going back and watching my other videos so I could see like what I had said before and try not to repeat anything like that. And whichever one of you told me that that short haircut was okay on such a fatty like me, not cool. I don't like you. <laughs> I'm just kidding. But um, it's weird to go back and watch your old videos and and like I don't know, just weird to see yourself. Um, but a lot has happened. Um, Justin and I are back together, which most of you know through Facebook, um, which I would have never guessed in a million years would ever happen. Um, things happen for a reason, right? I guess, I hope. Um, let's see what else do I want to mention. Um, I've kept up with, you know, everyone that I really care about and um, on here and probably always will even if I don't make videos. Um, so we're living in Ohio right now. We're um, kind of helping my mom now. Her husband passed away and they're only 40, you know, they were only 43. So that's a big deal to lose your husband so young. Um, he had hardening of the arteries and um, lost both legs and then had a heart attack. So we moved over here to try to help her out and um, it's different. Um, from the country. I'm a country girl and this is like this is the city for sure. So yeah, we um aren't trying to conceive or anything like that and probably won't be for a while but I am um taking from era um just because it, I, I didn't ovulate for over a year and I don't think that's good. Um just because my body I didn't want my body to get used to that. Um, so I did go to an OB, which um, I, don't, I don't really like him. We don't see eye to eye on a lot of things. Um, just for an example, like um, I talked to him about uh, chest room, and um, he said he, they, that also said that they only give it to women um, you know, that are pregnant just to keep them quiet pretty much. Like he was trying to say that the chest room doesn't help I disagree with that. Um, also, he really never heard of Romero, which wasn't too surprising, just because my last doctor in Hawaii, he had never heard of either until I brought him the research that I wanted you know, him to know about and why I was so passionate about trying Romero as opposed to Coma, because as you know, the Coma didn't work for me. And um, so, I mean, I wasn't surprised about that part, but he did look it up and give it to me. So we're doing like mock cycles as far as like um, just hoping that um, it will work. So the first cycle I did didn't work. I produced like a mature follicle, but um, I needed the trigger shot, which I had never needed before. Um, in my previous primary cycles in Hawaii, of course I'm not in Hawaii anymore. Um, but this time I think it worked. So if that's a good sign, if it did. And then when we're ready to do that, um, it will be that much easier to uh, go down that road. So, I'm doing okay. I mean, I went through like a really, really, sorry I keep moving the camera, but I'm lazy fatty and I'm not used to just hold my arms up. But, uh, I'm doing better. Like, that um, miscarriage, so, like, I would say, like, a cat three tool. Um, the first 
time I ever got pregnant, of course, was with the IUI. You all know that. Most of you know that. And um, I conceived twins, although um, I lost one very, very early. And um, then I lost the other one at almost 12 weeks. And then I had another miscarriage, um, but it was a chemical pregnancy. <clears throat> so after that, um, no more trying to conceive or anything like that. Like, it was a very hard time. Like, um, it makes me nervous to even think about trying to conceive just because, um, trying to sit back here. It's not, like, all my face. Um, I wouldn't wish it on anyone. Like, it was really, really hard and really just sucks. Um, would I say that it was the cause of my divorce? No. Um, was it a contributor? Yes. Um, trying to conceive itself is hard because you're having time to spin your course. You are, it's not about romance and love anymore. And, and you know what, you guys know what I'm saying. Like, you've been trying to conceive for a long time. It seems, um, it's not that fun anymore. It kind of gets old after a while. Like, okay, we can't do this on this day or do that on this day because we have to be sure excuse me, that when I'm ovulating that we have enough sperm to get pregnant or enough sperm for the IUI. And so it gets old and then you're stressed out. You're not really that nice. You're getting trigger shots. You're taking your metformin. You're taking your colon or femera or injections or whatever it is that you take to get, to get pregnant. And uh, it takes a toll on you. And then after the miscarriage, you were so traumatic. Um, I would, yeah, definitely contribute to the divorce. Um, I made mistakes, he made a lot of bigger ones <laughs> um, that we're still working on. Um, I don't, I don't think it'll be overnight, and um, but things are getting better. Um, it's a lot like it used to be, which is really good. It's a good thing, um, and it makes me happy. Um, there's a lot of things I did that I regret and I wish I wouldn't have done and there's a lot of things that he feels the same way about um, but you can't take those things back and um, I would say I, I learned a lot of lessons from this because before that I would say that I was one of those people um, I wouldn't say I was naive because I, was, I never thought oh it would never happen to me but we were so close and um, loved each other so much that I never would have imagined that he could do something that could hurt me like that. Um, but he did, and that's life. And um, I'm not thankful for what he did, but I'm thankful for the life lessons that I learned while it happened. So yeah, um, I hope you're all well, and I'm probably going to keep making videos, but I just want to get out here really quick and um, share that little bit of information, and um, I miss you all. And uh, I will talk to you soon. So let me try to find this button here. So, all right, bye guys.